Today, we are going to be building Devin Booker, his NBA championship dream team. Now, overall, I think the Phoenix Suns have obviously had a really good start to the season, but the last couple like weeks or so really haven't been all that great. And the reason why is because they've just been dealing with a lot of injuries. And I feel like, you know, the Suns are honestly still in a good spot, but I don't know if they're a championship team yet. I'm not going to lie. I think Devin Booker could be... I mean, obviously, he has a good team around him, but I think it could be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and build him a championship dream team and hopefully actually end up winning the NBA championship. First things first, we're going to be trading for Drew Holiday. I actually really like Drew, and I think he is a really good fit next to Booker. Booker's obviously going to be the guy going and getting buckets, so he needs somebody to go ahead and play that lockdown defense right next to him. I know they do have Mikel Bridges, but we'll get there in a second. Overall, though, I do like Drew. He's a good playmaker and honestly, one of the more underrated players in the league. Now, I do really like DeAndre Ayton. However, I mean, I don't want to keep too many players on the Suns. Obviously, I'm trying to switch it up. And one player that I think would benefit so well next to Booker is DeMontis Sabonis. I actually really like this idea because Sabonis is a baby version of Jokic. Like, he literally is what Jokic is, just not quite at that entirely elite MVP level. But in my opinion, he's getting pretty close. I mean, everything about Sabonis is really solid. His only real weakness, I guess you could say, is maybe his defense. But it's really not that much of a weakness. So we're going to add him to this team and hope that he can kind of help out. Next up, I know it sounds a little crazy, but we were going to be trading for Kyle Anderson. Again, in my opinion, one of the more underrated players in the NBA. If you actually watch games, you know Kyle Anderson, outside of his really weird looking jump shot, is actually one of the most consistent NBA players in the league as far as rebounding, as far as playmaking, as far as just kind of locking up in different situations. Overall, I think he's a really good fit on this team. You guys can see that this is going to be our rotation. We have Drew Holiday at the one, Devin Booker at the two, Mikel Bridges at the three, Kyle Anderson at the four, and Sabonis at the five. I am going to be keeping Bridges because I really do like Bridges on the Suns. I think he's a really good fit next to a guy like Booker. And now you have two really solid defensive players in Drew, in Bridges. And again, Drew Holiday is another guy that can create his own shot. And same thing with Bridges. They may not be the most clean, you know, jump shots at times. I mean, Mikel Bridges, same thing like Kyle Anderson may not be the best looking jump shots but they can still knock them down and then you have the big guy down below that's going to be you know rebounding playmaking scoring all that sort of stuff off the bench i mean cam johnson campaign jay crowder dario Saric, all players that i really do like now i was debating on not playing Saric as much um or not playing crowder as much and having damian lee out here and i think what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to make the decision i am going to be playing damian lee instead and the reason why i want to do this is because damian lee is a part of the rotation in real life jay crowder is not and i feel like it just makes more sense to kind of do that but overall i really like this lineup i think it kind of fits together really nicely so let's go ahead and see what this team can do so the first week of the nba we are going to go one and two so not the best start bridges has a really good game i mean it's just shooting really poorly oh my god like really bad shooting we do pick up a w against the trailblazers though uh sabonis 37 16 and 9 that is more like what I'm talking about. Again, though, just a lot of really poor shooting on this team. We come away with a win in that game, but again, bad shooting, man. This game, I mean, I think it's just the fact that we just couldn't play defense, like, which is weird because we built the team for defense and it seems like we couldn't get a stop. Next week, we go two and one. Sabonis with a really good game, 27, 19, and six. We do lose to the Pelicans. Um, I mean, it is what it is. We obviously are going to lo lose games. And then a huge game from Sabonis and a huge game from Booker to kind of help us win against the Rockets. So three and three to start. I'm kind of hoping by the deadline, we can at least be like 20 games over 500. So at the trade deadline, we are 35 and 21. Not really where I want to be. I want the team to be a little bit better, but I mean, it is what it is for now, at least. Looking at the All-Stars, we actually get Sabonis as an All-Star, which is really good. And we do get Devin Booker. So we do have two players there. I'm really happy to see both of them there. Let's go ahead and see what these standings are, though, for the team. Um, obviously, leading the way in scoring is going to be Devin Booker. Sabonis right behind him. Drew Holiday is just not playing as well as I thought he was. I think for the second half of the season, I'm going to really boost his shot tendency and hope that he does take a little bit more shots because I feel like that's where we have to be slacking is in offense. So points per game, we are the fifth best team and defensively, we're the second best team with an average point differential of seven, actually 6.9. Nice. But like, I don't know, man. I just feel like, like I said, overall, like he's just not playing the way, like, I don't know, he's supposed to. Like, I know it sounds weird, but 
I don't know. I thought with a 75 shot tendency, it would be playing pretty good. So I'm actually going to up them and kind of hope that maybe the, these guys can be playing a little bit better because overall, I feel like we should be winning a lot more games. Like I feel like with where we've been struggling right now, we're just losing way too many games. So since that, we're actually going to go back to back here um, on nice little wins. Trey Young drops 44, not good enough as Bridges. Thank you, man. Finally, you wake up a little bit. 31 points. Next game, we're going to get Booker lead the way. Sabonis, campaign cool. Drew's just, I don't know, man. Maybe Drew is just not good in the sim. Like, I'm starting to think that that maybe is what the problem is. Like, maybe Drew Holiday is just not good, obviously, in the 2K sim. But in real life, like, in my opinion, like I said, like, the two of them would play so well next to each other. But, yeah, again, like, he's just not, I don't know. He's just not it. I mean, I haven't seen one, like, huge game from him yet. Like, literally, like, at all. Like, I mean, 8, 8, and 15, like, I'll take that, but he shot 4 of 15. Like, we just, I don't know, man. We have to play better because right now it's like, it's not even the team not playing good. It's literally just Drew Holiday not playing good. And I do feel like he is going to be a big reason why we either lose a playoff game or he's going to come really clutch in one of these games. So hopefully he can, like, turn it around and be good by the playoffs because, like I said, I mean, 21, there we go. Like, that's not bad, but it's like, Bro, I was expecting him to be, like, what is that? Against the Hornets? Like, really? 38, 12 and a half, and 10 for Luka. I don't think anybody's surprised. Miles Turner, Defensive Player of the Year. Tyus Jones, six man. Okay, Trey Jones, most improved. I like that. Getting some new faces out there. 59 and 23, though, was our record. Not bad. I actually expected them to do a little bit better. And we get some bonus on an all-NBA team, but not Devin Booker, which is actually kind of interesting. Uh, to say the least here on any of the defensive teams. No, we don't get anybody and I don't believe we have any rookies um, That really played any big minutes So We were the first seed in the Eastern or Eastern Conference in the Western Conference Obviously Booker 26 points five rebounds six assists. I feel like that's all NBA worthy at least the third team, but apparently not uh, Bridges definitely stepped up the second half of the season and I feel like that is what resulted in a lot of our um, a lot of our wins as a team you know towards the end of the season which is pretty good points per game we were fourth so we moved up a little bit and then we did turn out to be the best defensive team and upped our point differential going into the playoffs we are on an eight game win streak as well going up against the Denver Nuggets in round number one we do take game one led by a triple double from Sabonis Drew with 18 and Cam Johnson leading the way love to see it they do tie it up though 1-1 one, one. we lose by four and Sabonis had a monster game I mean he literally like he could be out playing Yo never mind I was gonna say he could be out playing Jokic but we lose another game and I mean I don't know man Drew literally led the way that game we tie it up, thankfully. I did not want to go down 3-1 to this uh, Nuggets team because the Nuggets are obviously pretty good in real life and in the sim. So, so bone, we have a one-point win, man, to take a 3-2 to two lead, and we escape into the second round. But now we are playing the ultimate sim god himself, Luka Doncic, in the terrible, terrible Dallas Mavericks team. He is probably going to steal one on or from us, though. I mean, those are two games right there at home. Going into Dallas, we actually pick up the win. Luka fighting for his life, but hey, I'll take it. Booker leading the way. And like, this is just a terrible game overall. You know what I actually forgot to do is I actually forgot to check Kyle Anderson's stats. I actually forgot he was starting, and I am kind of curious to know what he did and if he is good in the sim or not. So let's go ahead and take, take a look at that really quick. So Kyle Anderson, I mean, eight and a half points, five rebounds, four assists, two steals, and a block. That's what I'm talking about. That is the type of stuff that he provides for this team and what I think he could really do, especially even in real life. Like, I actually like him, you know, putting up some decent numbers like that. Like, that's actually not that bad. So we do sweep the Dallas Mavericks, though, which is a little surprising. And now we are going up against the other Sim God in Zion Williamson. So, Drew, this is what I like. When Devin Booker slacks, this is what I like to see, man. Booker leading the way. Cam, Drew Holiday again. Thank you. I told you guys. This team should have more success in the regular season if it wasn't for Drew Holiday just completely like doing nothing all play or all season long. Sabonis is our conference finals MVP with 23 and a half points, 21 rebounds, six assists, a steal, and a block per game. Oh my God. I think that's the best stats we've had by literally anybody. So we're going up against the Chicago Bulls and they take game one. We lose by three. DeRozan with a huge game. Drummond and Vooch putting up big games. So Levine had a bad game and we ended up losing. That's 
Not really a good sign. We do tie it up, though. Booker, 32 points. I will take that. Some bonus. Drew doing their things. I think Drew had five steals that game. That's really good. So Levine and DeRozan both dropped 30 bombs, but we take the or we take the win. Again, big game by Bridges. They tie it up. Levine with 40, DeRozan with 36, and we lose by two, but we, oh man, it went into OT as well. Look, wait, 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 wait. Look at that fourth quarter. We went on a 47 to 31 run in that quarter. Oh, it's because we were down 20 in the first. That's why. I was going to say, I was like, what even happened? We actually lose game five, man. We better win. There's no way we lose to Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. Going to game seven here, where all it, everything counts right now, guys. Everything. All Everything's on the table right now. Can we come away with the victory? We jumped out to a huge lead in that first quarter. That's what I like to see, though. It's looking pretty good. As long as we don't blow this lead, we are looking like nba champions baby so bonus with a big game i mean 26 7 and 10 so you got the double double but with assists good team game all around that is what you like to see um how do we switch to oh, I, uh, I want to see oh my god y'all look at vooch man vooch is fighting for his life but the phoenix suns win the nba championship led by demontis sabonis as your finals mvp so booker really didn't step up as much as i thought he would but hey we got the w we end up taking home the final or the championship so thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed and be sure to comment down below who we should do next